Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Vivian and I am currently a senior data scientist working at a fintech in Sydney, Australia. I make videos on my career as well as my life here in Sydney. So if any of that interests you, then please consider subscribing or hitting that notification bell. I know that many of you are either interested in a career in data science or just curious as to know what it's like to work as one. Around a month ago, I posted a video on the top five things that I like the most about my job. And today I thought that I would switch it up and cover off a few reasons why data science might actually not be the correct career path for you. As always, I'll leave timestamps down below, so feel free to skip through this video. And without further ado, let's get straight into it. Before we get started, I just want to cover off how loosely the term data science is being used these days. And because of this ambiguity, it is extremely common for employers to list all the trendy buzzwords in their job descriptions just to attract the best talent. Many businesses are also jumping on this bandwagon and starting up their own data science teams without having the proper infrastructure or really thinking about what needs to be achieved from a data perspective. In some cases, the company is just looking for a data analyst but is tightening the role as a data scientist. Because of this, Data science roles can vary vastly between different organizations, so please make sure you are reading that job description carefully to know exactly what you're getting yourself into. Now that that's out of the way, let's get straight into this video. The first reason is if you are only expecting to be building fancy machine learning models all the time. Now as much as I would personally love for that to be the case, that is simply not true. I would say that working on fun models only really makes up around 20 to 30 percent of a data scientist's job at max. Instead, a large portion of your time will be spent figuring out what the business problem is that you are trying to solve, as well as what data you have available. Now, this will involve a lot of data wrangling, setting up the data pipelines, fixing the inevitable failures, working around technical limitations. But most importantly, making sure that your output is actually going to solve the business question. And depending on the structure of your business, you might also have to support a few of your stakeholders with a couple of ad hoc requests here and there. Feel free to check out this video that I've made, which basically covers off everything that I do at work as a data scientist. So what I'm trying to say is, if this boring or dirty work does not spark any joy for you, then maybe data science is not the correct career pathway for you. Next, if you don't like negotiating and communicating with business stakeholders, then you are not going to enjoy data science at all. I actually read somewhere that data science is as much of a sales role as it is technical, because you are basically trying to sell data science initiatives for your business to adopt. This role involves collaboration from all across the business on a very regular basis. Any project will have weekly, if not bi-weekly catch-ups to discuss findings and next steps. And a lot of these conversations will be with stakeholders who aren't as tech savvy as you or understand the business as well as you do. It is your job as a data scientist to act as the bridge between the data warehouse and the rest of the business and to be able to explain these technical concepts in a simple and concise way. And not only will you have to explain concepts to stakeholders, you also have to manage their expectations. Many businesses these days are super focused on impact and they want to know exactly how your work is going to drive the initiatives and lift performance. They probably don't care about an incremental uplift in genie of your model and are more focused on quick wins instead. Now this leads me into my third reason as to why you may not enjoy data science and that is if you are expecting to make huge impact from day one. If you are coming into a data science role thinking that you are going to make the biggest impact from your very first day then you are so mistaken. There is so much about a new domain that you have to learn as well as understand your new company's product construct. Depending on the size of your business, the executive team might not have actually realized the power of data and therefore are reluctant to change the way they operate. There could also be a lot of hierarchy and approvals before a data science framework can be implemented. And sometimes this framework might actually get rejected, which can be extremely discouraging and frustrating. 
The next reason you might not actually enjoy data science is if you are afraid of being creative and working independently. Stakeholders often come to us with a business problem and are looking for data to drive their actions. For example, the product team might be wondering, how can we better incentivize customers to use our products? Sometimes the problem is very unstructured and we are thrown in the deep end to figure out what data is available, where to look and what needs to be done to solve this business problem. It is unlikely that your manager will tell you exactly what needs to be done as they expect you to be creative and brainstorm a few options of your own. They're not going to be holding your hand all the time. And having said all that, you might end up going down a rabbit hole or maybe you're just interpreting the question incorrectly, which can be very discouraging to have all your efforts wasted. The creativity was actually something that I personally have struggled with in my career as I've always been someone that's worked religiously off to-do lists and I've never pegged myself as the most creative person. But over time, I've tried to put the imposter syndrome away and tried to channel my inner creativity. It's all part of the fun and learning process. Data science really can be open-ended. And lastly, you won't survive in this industry if you aren't open to learning. Because of the ambiguity of the term data science, different companies may require completely different skill sets. And what you learn in one company may not carry over into your next role. To solve business problems and make the most impact, you've got to understand the business and how the products work, where the data lies and what the data discrepancies are, and also constantly upskill with new technologies. Sometimes this involves additional conferences or courses after work, there is always going to be room to grow. And there also isn't much hand-holding when it comes to data science. If you are stuck on a technical problem, it's really on you to take ownership and either ask a colleague or maybe check with Stack Overflow to figure out what the best possible solution is. Anyway, those are all the points that I wanted to cover off today. I hope that this gives you a bit more of a perspective into what being a data scientist is actually like, or at least helps you make a more well-informed decision if this is the correct pathway for you. And of course, none of these qualities are set in stone. If you are not creative, that does not mean you can't make an excellent data scientist. Every role is different and you can easily adapt over time. I'm going to wrap up this video here. Thank you so much for sticking around to the very end. As always, please like and subscribe and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!